get back up. It's about to shoot. Trouble ahead. I love doing that. A malignant will is placed upon this, just like the one we found earlier. Costs of a spell, eh? Maybe Seeker could help us with this. Seeker? Witch! Let me show you the way.
I join in too? See that corpse? I could use a ritual. My voice commands you! Unveil! The Banisher, who died for her novice. Ah, the witch's novice. Ho oh, there, Anseya. Are you not surprised to see me? You're a little early, but no. Not surprised. On my return, Ceridian told me our poor wee Banisher would turn up haunted. A haunted Banisher. Well, it is funny, isn't it? Ceridian knew about Antea's ghost. Obviously. Not very bright, is he? If she knew Antea was around, why did she not tell you to tell me? Ceridian withheld that information from both of us for a good reason. Better trust her plan. Death is a part of life, Banisher. You know this better than most. I suppose she didn't want to break your heart again. 
You tended to him. Thank you. Uh, I'm a good novice. I do what I'm told. What was that thing you fought? Thing? Oh, him. He's a bloody nuisance is what he is. Are you badly hurt? I've tangled with old Mossad before. A couple of minutes to myself and I'll be fine. You look like you need a moment. Can we help? <laughs> Thought you'd never ask. Some of my spirit chasers went out. Uh, that's how old Saul crossed the hem. The hem? The hem. Where the fabric of the living world meets that of the dead. Ah. Uh, the veil between the visible and the invisible. Whatever soothes your soul, Vanisha. Rest. Heal. Tell us how to fix the spirit chasers. The spell is cast. You need only light them. Be careful. Old Moss said won't have gone far. Oh, I'll sit down now. Good luck. Have fun. Can I ask a question? She's in fugue. Healing. Two questions, then. So, how do we do this? We light the spirit chases with flint and steel, I guess, I think. Useless. Relics of a colony I'll wager, long ago failed. Useless. Relics of a colony, I'll wager, that long ago failed. That corpse is going to shoot. <laughs> is that the sound of a corpse cocking its gun? First spirit chaser. my elbow. Time is on my side. This ivy is strong, really strong. You don't say.
standing by. Like these things. I'll get you too. Something's concealed.
is on my Move side. It. Here's one more. I'll drink from your sky. Burning spirit chasers repel these bastards, right? That's how witches use them. One more to go. This should be enough. There. Witchcraft is easy. I don't know what the fuss is about. I'm sure your witch friend would agree. I think I'll just tell her we're done. What wasp crawled up that spectre's arse and stung him angry? A lost battle? A betrayal? Cowardice in the ranks? Who knows? Seeker's vanished. She does that. She's over there. Did I see you talking to a crow just now? Yes and no. Ready to go then? Good. She's waiting for you. Go where? To see your mistress? Ceridian, yes. In a boat. It'll be fun. No, we're going to New Eden. The nightmare's grip on the world is too strong. The fog is too thick. You cannot enter its stronghold. There's no way back to the meeting house. Not yet. And not without help. We've done fine on our own so far. You're dead. Maybe you're not doing quite as well as you think. 
You're blunt, but I take your point. We'll talk to Ceridian before we move on. That's better. Follow me. Careful. Don't rot the bow. Have we far to go? How far is far? Don't worry. You'll be safe. Safe? The Mire is home to many angry spirits. But my mistress keeps them quiet. Dead quiet. That spectre you fought looked like a harvester. Vanishes in their labels. You'll surely be back. So will I. The veil seems thinner here. Always has been. We call them the Maya Marshes, but the nearby tribes call it the Ill Mouth. Stay too long, you'd get sick. Is that why Ceridian's wards wane faster than they should? That is because she's dying. I'm sorry. Life's a journey. Death is but one step. This is almost as lovely as that ride through Heringracht. All we're missing is the hailstones and the Russia at our heels. I'm sure we can arrange something. You do plan the best escapes. What can you tell us about your mentor? I could tell you quite a lot, but I'm not going to. She's a very old witch who's tended this very big garden for a very long time. That's it? Believe me, that's more than enough. The spectres on the shore aren't moving. The marshes are well protected. Are those soldiers? That, Miss Duarte, is Old Saul's army. This Old Saul, what does he want? Destruction, bloodshed, Ceridian's head on a plate. They must have known each other once. We could help you banish him. You banishers are so arrogant. He's Ceridian's business. Best we don't interfere. Welcome to Ceridian's Island. There is much power here. Oh, you noticed that, did you? Like I say, welcome to Ceridian's Island. She's at home, and expecting you. Follow the path until you find a black pond near ancient ruins. I'll see you there soon enough. How does she do that? It's a trick, right? There's more to that one than tricks. The girl is gifted. What is this? Banisher rule number three. Remember Wizbeach Bog? Why? I'll not poke this thing with a stick.
cannot make my mark on this web. Shelter, if you need a fire to warm you up. Can't cook. Dolls. Witches do like to be creepy. As a child, I made dolls just like those. <laughs> I bet you did. Seeker's Black Pond. I can see why they call this the Ill Mouth. What is that?
No, that's not quite true. I knew who I was, it's just... I was lost, and I had nowhere to go. I had no when to go. Does that make sense? Time lays traps for the dead. It's never fair. His voice was a beacon. A light in the darkness that led me back to me. And to the world. You have a powerful connection, you two. Or will have. Or hand. Possibly all three. And here he is, the other banisher. Greetings. Good day. Come, sit. It's been too long. Have we met? Of course we have. Just now. Or so later. Decades ago. Never mind. It's good to see you, Red McRae. I told her our story. I hope you don't mind. Such an ordeal. I'm so very sorry you have to go through it. How hard it must be for you both. I... thank you. But now you're here together, and I'm glad. Because you'll only be able to end this together. Who are you exactly? Who is Seeker? We, Banisher, are witches. Aye, that much I knew. Ceridian. The name sounds very familiar. To a Scotsman, it should. Once, a long time ago, I too was named Seeker. An old friend called me Ceridian. Little Seeker, he said. Ceridian, aye. When I needed a new name, I took the one he'd given me. Or at least a form of it that fits my tongue. Ceridian fits me well, I think. We must reclaim Antea's body. But Seeker tells us the meeting house can't be reached. The fog cannot be crossed. Seeker is right. The fog is the nightmare. The nightmare makes the fog, you mean? The fog is the nightmare. The nightmare is the fog. Each grows the other as their influence strengthens. It taints everyone all through New Eden. It clouds their minds and distorts their vision. But you have already cleared the dark woods. The work has begun. It must continue. Why have we found so little native presence in New Eden? They have been here. But they have never settled. Wise men and women know that the region, the Maya marshes especially, are rotten. Is that why you settled here? Here, the hem is thin and frail and the mire rich in agitated spirits. It is also secluded and hard to find. Both excellent reasons to remain. Here, we may hide away and mend the hem. You brought us here. Why? You have many questions, and I have little time. Your novice mentioned it. I am sorry. <laughs> I am not. Soon I'll be one with the trees, root and bark. But that is not why I asked you here. Dearest 
Dears, the path ahead is yet unclear. But know this. If you are to defeat the nightmare, your hearts must be open. Open, of course, to each other. No barriers. Your bond must be strong. How can we defeat it? How can we even begin to match its power? You surrender. Unconditionally. To each other. When you died, dear Antea, New Eden crumbled. But some yet live. Seek them out. Help them. The nightmare won't like that. No. You are, after all, a threat to her existence. And rightly so. She believes you cannot reach into her domain. She is wrong. There is a way. The Void. A dreadful place beneath both the Incarnate and the Invisible. When you have learned to walk the Void, you may use it to enter the Nightmare's Den. First, you must free the people of New Eden from her grip. What is this void? If there's a place beneath the incarnate and the invisible, this is the first I've heard of it. Now you have, and not before time. That's enough for now. Is it safe? What will we find there? Who knows what you'll find? It ebbs and flows, expands and contracts, twists and turns, but you won't find safety. In the void, safe has no meaning. Just know this. The moment you enter it, you must escape. In places, the void is breached. Follow the beacons. Do not stray, and all will be well. Our seeker crafted you a tuning key. With it, you may open the breach. Don't linger. Time is fickle. The nightmare in the meeting house was by far the most powerful ghost I've ever faced. From where did it come? Unforgiving wrath is a bottomless well for vengeful spirits. But in this case, I suspect an even more vile source involved. What do you know of Deborah? Not much. I have avoided the people of New Eden for decades. I do know she was tried for witchcraft. Was she a witch? Was she one of yours? Would it matter if she was? She was no witch. She was a woman. A victim of the basest of human fears. We know the beast was linked to the nightmare, but we're not so clear on how. Through the beast, the nightmare inflicted its curse upon the settlers. The beast was its avatar. I'm sure it has others. What are they, exactly? They are manifestations of her power. They may also represent her only weakness. The Nightmare's spirit was shattered by the violence that created it. Properly studied, the pieces may provide the key to lifting her curse. By the beach as I drowned, you sent Seeker to find me. How did you know where to look? Are you asking an old hedge witch how she knows what goes on in her own garden? The woods and rivers are full of friendly claws. And feathers and scales. I always know what I need to know. I guess that's the best answer we can expect. 
It is the best of all those I've tried, dearest dears. We recently came across a cursed item and thought you could help us cleanse it. Really? Why us? Well, you know, spells, curses, witches. I was teasing. How fun it is to see you squirm. There are many ways to enchant an item, or dispel its curse. Seeker may be of help. Go talk to her. She likes to tease you too. Would a hedge witch have something interesting in her swamps for a banisher? I always have, and I always will.
Thank you, Ceridian. We'll be off. Before you leave, tell me, what did you choose? What do you mean? Each of you made a promise to the other. What was it? What did you choose? I chose to go. Mm -hmm. How difficult it must be to follow this path. The greatest of the great mysteries elude us all. But have faith. For there to be peace, there must be an ending. The tuning key is on the table. In the void, it will protect you. Seeker waits at the pool to show you the way. Yes, dear? Goodbye, Ceridian. For now. For now. Take all the help you need. Witchery. Feels unnatural. Dangerous. Vanishing, of course, is famously safe.
funny looking spinning wheel. Do you weave with it? Of course. I weave essence, Red McGray. You may have time to waste, but I do not. Ceridian gave us a tuning key. Now I know how you pull your little disappearing trick. It's no trick. It's what we do to survive. Too many bastards out there want us dead. So what we saw on the other side of the island, that was a void breach? Yes. You'll be using them too. But not this one. Not yet. There's another one, a little ways off, in the back of a cave. Use that one for now. This one is special. It's the last and only way into New Eden Town since the bridge burned down. We could go back to New Eden right now? Why would you want to do that? The Nightmare is strong. She has New Eden by the proverbials. Loosen her grasp and maybe, just maybe, you can walk through that breach and live. All right, all right. We get it. You have your tuning key. Hold on to it for dear life. That shouldn't be a problem. Once through the breach, there's no turning back. Keep going and don't look back. So, who's Deborah? I know no Deborah. I don't think I've ever known a Deborah. Tell me about yourself, Seeker. Hmm. How do I put this politely? No. I'm curious. What do you think of the nightmare yourself? I think the nightmare is the child of our father's iniquities. And of our own sins, too. Do you admire it? I fear it. But I accept its wrath. As I accept the rain. And New Eden surely deserves the flood. Void walking. Can you tell me more about it? I use it to leap from one breach to another. As Ceridian taught me. I don't dally. Nor should you. Why not? The void is terra incognita. I suspect Ceridian knows, but isn't saying. Bad sign, that. Very bad sign. We found a cursed object. An object? What object? A chest. Locked and evidently cursed. A curse could mean different things, depending. What do you think happened? We found it in the wilderness. We think maybe someone bound a spirit to it for protection. Ah, I do believe you found a chest belonging to Fear God. I'm sorry, who? Fear God Waterbury, local holy man. Hermit, died years ago. On my wanders I'd meet his ghost from time to time. Crazy old man. More bark than bite, though. Did he have a thing for making cursed boxes? Fear God Waterbury had a talent, and he used it to lock things away. Things he considered too dangerous to leave free. Ah, chest. How many more are there? I didn't ask and he didn't say. I know it's more than one. I guess it's a lot more than one. He had a thing for collecting trinkets and locking them up for safekeeping. Why? Fear God Waterbury believed there was something about New Eden that drew folk to the occult. He wasn't wrong. How do we get it open? Why would you want to open it? That's demonology and I'm not one for stepping in no demonology. Even if old Fear God wasn't the worst. 
But from what he told me, fear god Waterbury, the man, not his ghost, kept a ritual of unbinding in his breviary. Do you have this breviary? No, but I know we can find it. He spent his last years in seclusion, deep in the dark woods. Go northeast from the hunter's camp. Keep to the east side of the trail until you can turn south. You should come to a clearing. He had a hut there. You forget things sometimes, so here. I'll write it down for you. We'll be going. Hope to talk again soon. Yes. I do so enjoy our little chats across the hem. Let me get this right. We are looking for a breviary belonging to a demonologist that Seeker met after his death. All this, in order to learn how to cleanse malignant spirits bound to cursed objects. Remember Balthazar H. Frenhofer's teaching. Efficient, adaptive, versatile. 